everyone. My name is Nagesh Vangiri, Senior Application Engineer from Conceptshare Software Technologies Private Limited. would like to welcome you all to this session on Web Browser Based Product Data Management Solution from SolidWorks. It's been four weeks, whole nation is under COVID-19 lockdown and employees are working on design projects from their home. Amidst this situation of lockdown, we are introducing this video on how SOLIDWORKS PDM Web Browser Solution can go light on organization's expense to ease design teams working to build products during COVID-19 lockdown. Ideal work environment for any design team would be to store all the data from their local drive onto a network drive, which is again backed up into a separate drive. This practice has its own data management complications to address. For such a situation, we have a solution with following architecture. Having a database server to store the metadata of files, folders, workflows, etc. and an archive server to hold every version change in the design data connected to a client machines via a LAN guided by a stringent firewall rule. Under COVID-19 lockdown scenario, Getting access to the servers is difficult. To provide a solution for such scenarios would be to turn PDM servers into web servers, where without any delays, users can get an access to servers using web-based applications or connecting PDM servers through a VPN connection. We have two options through which we can connect to our PDM servers to access CAD data. Option 1. If it's feasible, virtual private network can be set up between server machine and client machine, which requires separate set of VPN server and client installation and again needs a good internet connection at the user end. Now, let's see what's there in option 2, which is a web-based browser application. Option number two, a web-based application configuration where users can access CAD data from the configured PDM professional vault by using their PDM logins on a web browser. Yes, PDM Web 2 will just need a web browser which can be either your Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox or Internet Explorer. No VPN client etc very light on system as well as on organization's expenses. Now, let's take a look at the prerequisites required to set up PDM web application. Now, we'll discuss the required prerequisites to use Sorodox PDM web-based application to read and write data on the PDM project servers. First, if you want to edit the CAD data, to edit the CAD data, you'd first require a web browser installation then a configured PDM world, PDM professional web, CAD editor or required contributor or a CAD viewer license, and serverless CAD license to use the uh, downloaded CAD model for modification purpose. Read CAD data, that is, in the preview of CAD file and reading the file information. That you just need a browser installation, a configured PDM world, and a PDM CAD viewer professional license. So that's it for prerequisite. PDM Web2 configuration enables users to log in into PDM Professional Wall using PDM credentials but through a web browser. Once the user has logged in in PDM, the interface of SOLIDWORKS PDM Web2 will be similar to PDM Explorer which we get to see by logging into the PDM client. We get the project folder listing according to the permissions given. We can browse through folder structures etc. Next thing. We get to know the individual folder information that is data cards are visible. We get an access to various tab, contains tab and we can go ahead and search files like we do inside PDM search window. Well, that was about PDM Web2 applications interface. Now, let's see how PDM Web2 can go handy on handling design data. SOLIDWORKS PDM Web2 will allow users to check out and download complete set of data into their local machine from where, from where they can work to modify the downloaded files. Once the work gets over, same set of downloaded files can be uploaded back. While uploading, 
PVM web tool will take care of the references automatically and the file structure is also updated by checking in the files into the server and also allows users to enter comments on what was a modification done. PDM web tool will allow users to check out and download a set of reference data. The reference data can be a drawings parts, latest or reference data, subfolders and its data and it can also include your simulation results. So this was about the files. Next, we'll see how bill of materials can be accessed inside web tool. In SOLIDWORKS PDM Web 2, users are allowed only to access bills of materials of assemblies in the form of read-only beam, whether it's an activated or named bill of material. But users can check out the bill of material and download the bill of material into the local machine. Users can also participate in the workflow of file bill of material approval. Apart from bill of material, SOLIDWORKS PDM Web 2 also allows you to access the history of the files in various formats. The history is captured based on the actions which are taken on the file. It can be a transition action or it can be renamed or it can be anything which has happened to the file made by any of the user. So this is about what a PDM Web2 can do for your day in day out active, uh, data management activity and can hold every information on into your browser. For any technical assistance on PDM, you can contact me. My name is Nagesh Honigiri, Senior Application Engineer PD. My mail ID is nagesh at the ritzcurrent.in and my mobile number is 888-4411-867. And my sales partner is Mr. Prasanna N. But Sales Engineer PDM, uh, prasanna.n at the ritzcurrent.in and his mobile number is 7259-228-008. And for any technical assistance, you can Contact our support team at support at the red sea current.